All right, moving right along. In this video, what I wanna do is prove the tangent angle addition formula. And what you'll see is that the tangent angle addition formula is really just a consequence of the sine angle addition formula and the cosine angle addition formula, which were proved in the previous video and the video right before that. This will be a pretty quick video because really it all hinges on the fact that the tangent of any angle is the sine of that angle divided by the cosine of that angle. So if I want the tangent of this weird angle, A plus B, well, that must be equal to the sine of this weird A plus B angle divided by the cosine of this weird A plus B angle. And conveniently enough, from the last two videos, I have expressions that tell me exactly what the sine of A plus B and the cosine of A plus B are equal to. The sine of A plus B from my sine angle addition formula is sine of A cosine of B plus cosine of A sine of B. And the cosine of A plus B from my cosine angle addition formula is the cosine of A times the cosine of B minus the sine of A times the sine of B. All right, I guess I can get that far, but that doesn't look anything like this. How am I gonna change this thing in green into this thing in red? Well, the trick here is, since the tangent is equal to the sine divided by the cosine, what I wanna do is change all these sines and cosines into tangents. Maybe I can get rid of a bunch of stuff if I divide each of these four terms. Whoa, that got pretty ugly pretty quick. Yeah, but it's not that bad. All I'm doing is copying exactly what I see on this line, except for each of these four different terms, I'm dividing by cosine of A, cosine of B. So I still have this sine of A cosine of B right here. I still have this cosine of A sine of B right here, cosine of A cosine of B right here, and sine of A sine of B right here. Just note that they are all over cosine of A times the cosine of B. If you're with me this far, you get the really satisfying step of canceling all sorts of stuff out. Note that in this first term, I got a cosine of B and a cosine of B. Those cancel out, so all I'm left with is sine of A over cosine of A. In this next term, I have a cosine of A and a cosine of A. Those cancel out, so all I'm left with is sine of B over cosine of B. Down here in the denominator, the cosine of A and the cosine of A cancel, the cosine of B and the cosine of B cancel. Everything cancels, I'm just left with the one. And then over here, nothing cancels, so I have the sine of A divided by the cosine of A times the sine of B over the cosine of B. And one more time, we're gonna take advantage of the fact that the tangent of an angle is just equal to the sine of that angle divided by the cosine of that angle to rewrite a bunch of these terms. Sine of A over cosine of A, that sounds a lot like tangent of A. Sine of B over cosine of B, that sounds a lot like tangent of B. In the denominator, I still have this one, and then sine of A over cosine of A gives me tangent of A, and I'm multiplying that by sine of B over cosine of B, which is just the tangent of B. What I'm left with is exactly what I was hoping I'd get, the tangent angle addition formula.